everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different video today. Instead of a speed build, we're going to be looking at a tour of a house that I built for my save file a while back. I hope you guys enjoy it and you're not too disappointed that it's not a speed build, but I will be getting a speed build video out soon, um, hopefully later on this week. And I'm sorry for the little bit of delay in the two weeks. Um, it was a bit rough, my mic broke and so I had to wait to get a new one, but we're back. We're, we have a new mic now. And um, so I hope that the mic quality is good. You can let me know um, if it sounds good. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the intro. And now we can get into the tour. So basically, obviously this is the front of the house and um, it's kind of unique in the way that it has um, this sort of breezeway here and it attaches like the main house here and the kind of garage and attic area. Um, so I kind of like that. It's a little bit different. And if we go on into the inside here, we have an entryway just where, you know, your Sims can hang up their coats and things like that. Um, there's like a little powder room here, just a small bathroom with a sink and a toilet. Um, and then if we make our way through this doorway here, um, there's a place where you can come and like sit and read a book and um, you can practice like some art, play the guitar. There's a nice piano over here for your Sims to play. And then they have a nice like formal dining room in here. Um, which is probably like that one dining room um, that some people have where it's like the one that gets used when people come over, um, like that kind of thing. And the color scheme of this house was a lot of like blues and yellows. Um, I guess it's just like, I don't know, it's like a staple um, kind of color palette that I use pretty often, but it always looks good together. So yeah, that's this room in here. And then we go into the hallway and through the hallway, we come to um, the rest of the house. This is a nice um, living room over here. It's pretty simply decorated, but I think it looks enough like it, um, you know, like people live here. Um, there's a nice little family that lives in here, some clutter on the, um, coffee table here. And I just like that there's, you know, some light streaming in. So in the mornings, maybe they like sit over here and read something, have a cup of tea or coffee. Um, and then there's also like a doggy bed over here, uh, in case you want to have a pet since this is in Brindleton Bay. Um, and then if we come over here, there's just a little kitchen still got that yellow and uh, blue theme still going on in here really simple um, but I think it fits pretty well and then just over here we have like kind of the um, kitchen like breakfast area where um, you can come in here and sit in the mornings and gobble down your cereal and get ready for school and all that kind of thing so yeah that's this space over here then if we come obviously through these sliding doors it goes into the backyard where there's a nice conversation area um, and then we have a nice little fire pit over here and a swing set for the kids that live in the house and then a little eating area with a barbecue and then a place for the kids to go and like throw water balloons and then I just have like a couple of planters here which you know you can take and kind of place elsewhere so that um, they're like usable and yeah that's about it for the backyard now if we go back through into like the main area over here in the kitchen if we go through this little doorway here it actually leads into that breezeway that i was talking about um, and the breezeway is kind of like a makeshift uh, like laundry area um, so we have like the laundry machines in here different like types of storage and things like that maybe some chores are down here some events that are coming up and then um, there's also dog bowls here um, for like that pet bed that's over there and yeah, it's just a nice little area to get some chores done. And then if we go through the door onto the side here, it leads into the garage area where there's like a nice boat because it's in Bridleton Bay. So maybe the family likes to take the boats out on the weekends and like go and sail on the water, maybe do some fishing. They have some fishing items up there. And yeah, it's just got a little bit of clutter, the stuff that I think um, you would see inside of a garage. And then there's some bikes over here. And then this ladder right here leads upstairs into the attic area where they just have obviously like some boxes and things, um, some stuff they maybe didn't unpack. 
uh, when they move to this house and then some you know furniture pieces that are pretty old maybe they want to sell it someday and yeah but this area um i mean it could be turned into anything you want it could be like a kid's playroom or um extra like bedroom if you wanted to have grandparents live here or you know maybe one of the kids grows up and um they have like they renovate it into a little apartment it could really be anything but i just wanted to make it like an attic space sort of thing when i built it so yeah that's what's over here and i think that's it for the like main portion of the house and then if we go upstairs um here in this hallway um it leads upstairs into another hallway upstairs and over here is where i put a nice little area for um, the Sims to do like work from home or you know whatever desk stuff that they need to get done here so there's like a nice desk area um, with the Sun coming in that you know maybe like one of the parents sits here and the kids are running around doing stuff um, if they like work from home or uh, doing some computer work so that's there and then there's like a little balcony um, not a really big one so I didn't really put anything out here but you could if you wanted to um, and then we have um, this room here for a toddler um, this is a color scheme I don't think I've done for like a toddler kids room before so I was kind of excited to do like this sort of like burnt orange um, color and then it's got like accented with like teal sort of colors and I, I don't know I, I think it turned out pretty good it turned out really like autumny feeling it feels very autumn like because of the oranges and stuff like that and I like this little decal with the tree I think it's really cute um, yeah so that's this bedroom here there's some storage on the side um, like with like I guess it would be like a window seat and then like some storage for toys and like bookshelf um, so you can put all your stuff in there and then obviously just baby things and a changing table and all that stuff so yeah it's nice and simple but I think it it works really well um, and then obviously there's like a little bathroom here uh, for this bedroom um, So it's just like a regular main bathroom um, Not like super decorated, but just you know got the basics and then if we come over here. This is the primary bedroom um, and they have their own uh, like walk-in closet over here and then a primary suite like bathroom over there as well um, and I kept like the colors pretty much the same as the rest of the house. It's very like, you know, it's got the yellow and the blues and things like that um, with a little bit of green. And I tried to keep it kind of like realistic feeling. I didn't want it to be like too manicured um, or like overly done, but just they got some stuff laying around and that kind of thing. And then we have a walk-in closet over here um, where they keep all their clothes. And there's a nice little vanity in here if they want to like do their makeup and like a little stool thing you sit. And then here is like bigger than usually how I do my bathrooms. They're usually pretty um, small, uh, which I'm trying to work on. I wanna do more exciting bathrooms. So <laughs> hopefully I can um, do a bigger build with that kind of bathroom. Um, but anyways, I did this kind of um, bigger bathroom for the suite in here. And it's got the blue kind of color theme, nice and simple. Um, but I think it, it looks pretty good and so that's for uh, I think that's all for this floor here the second floor and then obviously like the stairs that are in here in the hallway lead up to the attic area and the attic um, the, the stairs that go here um, you can see like it goes through like the roof piece but it actually is functional um, I get scared sometimes that things aren't gonna work like if I try to do it but the archway could be placed here without move objects on, so it does actually function. Um, anyways, this is the hallway, obviously, to the bedrooms, and then there's also a bathroom up here um, for the Sims that are up here. And I made a kids room over here and a teen room over here. And if we go to the kids room, it's very colorful. <laughs> I did a lot of color for this bedroom. Um, I thought it was fine because it has like this Kind of brick accent wall but it's very like it has the white paneling throughout it so i didn't think it's gonna be like too too overwhelming with the the amount of color but um it is very colorful <laughs> i wanted it to be a little bit um kind of whimsical and colorful and i think that this child sim likes animals and nature and 
um, that kind of thing. So I think the room kind of highlights uh, those likes and hobbies and stuff that they do. Um, so yeah, it's just got a lot of clutter here and there, some toys, the dollhouse, a nice little desk where they do arts and crafts and things like that. And I wanted the bed to be in this bay window area, but it looked kind of strange like without something on the side. So I actually put um, these curtains here because I felt like it just kind of framed it really well. So I like the way that, that looks. I like the way that it turned out. Um, and then obviously we have the rest of the room here. Um, they have a little area for um, making arts and crafts and things like that. It's like the actual um, arts and crafts table. Um, and then they have this nice little, um, what's it called? The board, um, the scouts, the scouting board here. And then these are obviously for the, like, uh, I think it's a rat. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> this little rat that's inside of here. Um, they have a little pet rat. So that lives right here in their room. And then, yeah, it's just like this cute little, cute little area that has all the pictures of their friends and all the stuff that they make. And I just really like the way that this turned out. And then obviously they have like some toys and things like that in there. So that's this room. It's really whimsical and I really like it. <laughs> I like the way that um, the bedrooms turned out in this house. I think they're like probably my most favorite bedrooms that I've built. Um, like without any CC for kids and like teenagers. But if we go over to the other side, this is um, the teen's room and you might recognize this because I actually posted a picture of this room um, on my Tumblr. Um, and so now I'm kind of like showing it in the house that it was built in. Um, but basically I think that this teenager kind of has a range of hobbies. I didn't like go for one specific theme. They have sports things in here. They have guitars in here. They have a video game console. So I think they just like to do a bunch of different kind of hobbies. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I like the beam kind of thing that I did for the upstairs. I think the beams um, are really cool. And I like the way they section off like parts of um, the bedrooms. It's like that in the um, kids room as well. But I just, I don't know. I really like the way that it looks. Um, but yeah, it's super cozy in here. I put like different colored lights because um, that's like a big thing um, to have like different colored lights in your bedroom. I definitely have it even though I'm not a teenager. <laughs> um, but I know it's like, I don't know, it, it sets the mood. It's a vibe. So I wanted to do that in here. Um, yeah, they just have like a bunch of stuff on their walls. There's a nice desk over here um, with some of the stuff that they've gathered over time from like their hobbies and things that they like. Um, they have some dirty mugs that they haven't <laughs> brought down to the kitchen, some snacks that they've been kind of hoarding up here for a little bit. Um, and then there's just a clothing pile over here, a wardrobe, and then the bed area with some art on the wall and things like that. And yeah, and this chair is obviously so they can watch TV and like play games and everything. But I just really love these rooms. I really love the way that they turned out. Um, I think I was really in the zone when I built this uh, lot because sometimes I'm like not in it and um, But this was like a build that I did where I just like turned on music and I was just in the zone like I was just cluttering things and Everything just came to me really naturally and it's always so nice when that happens when you build because You always make something that you're proud of, you know when you're in that zone and you get it done You're you sit back and you look at it. and You're like, yeah, like this is really nice. So yeah, anyways, I'm pretty proud of this um, build and like the rooms in it. And then obviously these blinds here are custom content. So these are some of the things that I was talking about before. Just a little pieces of CC here and there to put a little cherry on top of <laughs> the rest of the Maxis items. But um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the entire build and yeah, I'm really proud of this one and um, obviously like this will be in the download in the description and the CC is going to be linked as well.